All right, you guys, today I'm gonna check out how to create this more advanced Y2K logo here in Illustrator. I'm gonna go with this text as reference and let's go to the fonts and I'm gonna search for a Rodem. This is a free font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and I'm gonna need to adjust this. I'm gonna right click, create outlines and I'm gonna right click again on group and I'm gonna place it and customize it a little bit. The letter R, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna bring the letter E a little bit more here. And I'm also gonna select the letter N and I'm gonna select the erase tool, press and hold Alt and I'm gonna remove this part and just customize it however you like. I'm also gonna select the bottom part of these letters and I'm gonna drag it, press and hold Shift. All right, so I finished. I'm also gonna add the subtitle and this is going to be Asian, by the way. And let's go to the fonts and I'm gonna search for Maru Hanamaki. This is a free Adobe font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and I'm gonna decrease the distance in between them. I'm gonna go with minus 300, for example. I'm also gonna go to the effects, add path, offset path, and I'm gonna offset it a little bit just to make it more thicker. I'm gonna go with one, click OK, and I'm gonna position it here. Go to object, expand appearance, and here I'm gonna need to add some extra element. So I'm gonna select the pen tool, and I'm gonna press and hold shift to make the line straight. Probably gonna go like this, and I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and just make it rounded. This is gonna add a little bit of tech look. Let's also add some stars. I'm gonna select the star, press and hold shift plus alt, don't release it and I'm gonna hit the down arrow once, press and hold shift, make it rounded and I'm gonna select these internal corners and I'm gonna make it even more rounded. All right, so let's select it again and I'm gonna go and select the shear tool and I'm gonna tilt it the same way as the text is and let's click on expand shape and I'm gonna place it here. Duplicate and there it is. From here, I'm gonna select everything, a right click, group and I'm gonna go to the object, path, and select offset path. I'm gonna increase it. I'm gonna try it out with eight joins round. Click OK. And I'm also gonna recolor it right now. So let's go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite, and let's go and right click on it on Group. And I'm gonna right click on Group again. So this is gonna be the stroke basically. And I'm gonna select the Direct Selection tool, remove these interior parts, select the anchor point, delete, delete. I'm gonna select these, a right click, Group, a right click, arrange, send to back. Now I'm gonna add that huge star. So I'm gonna select the star tool, press and hold shift plus alt, click on the up arrow, press and hold shift. And I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select one of the edges and just drag it. So it's gonna look like that. Let's position it in the bottom, scale it up. I'm also gonna expand the shape and with the direct selection tool, make it rounded. I'm also gonna offset this one, object path, offset path. I'm gonna go with eight, recolor it. Let's select everything, right click, group, and now at least we're gonna go to the effect, 3D materials, let's go to 3D classics and select a rotate classic. And here I'm gonna go to the X, I'm gonna decrease it to zero, the Z zero again, and I'm gonna rotate this guy. And to make this work, I'm gonna increase the perspective like so. But you also can experiment with the X rotation. So I'm gonna go with 28, 28, zero. There you go, 100 degrees, click OK. And this is how I make this more advanced looking Y2K logo here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.